how to sell your business for a premium. When selling a business, the consideration can take various forms, including cash, stock, or a combination of both. When the acquiring company offers a combination of cash and pre-IPO or pre-initial public offering stock, it can potentially result in a premium for the seller due to the anticipated future value of the stock portion of the sales price. Here's a breakdown of how this can work. One, future growth potential. The pre-IPO stock represents ownership in the acquiring company before it goes public. By accepting such stock as part of the sales price, the seller can participate in the future growth and success of the acquiring company. If the acquiring company is expected to experience significant growth and its stock price is projected to increase after the IPO, the seller can benefit from the appreciation of the stock value. Two, higher valuations. Including pre-IPO stock in the sales price can often result in a higher valuation for the seller's business. The acquiring company may be willing to offer a premium in the form of additional stock to incentivize the seller to accept the deal. This premium reflects the acquiring company's belief in the future value and potential of its stock. Number three is liquidity opportunities. Although the stock received in the pre-IPO stage is not yet publicly tradable, there are potential liquidity opportunities in the future. Once the acquiring company completes its IPO, the seller can potentially sell or trade the stock on the open market, providing an opportunity to convert it into cash. If the stock performs well post-IPO, the seller can recognize significant gains by selling it at a higher price than its initial valuation. Four, diversification. By receiving a combination of cash and pre-IPO stock, the seller diversifies their assets. They receive an immediate cash infusion which provides liquidity and can be used for various purposes such as reinvesting or other ventures or personal financial needs. Simultaneously, the stock portion offers a long-term investment opportunity, potentially generating additional wealth if the acquiring company's stock appreciates over time. And number five, tax benefits. Depending on the jurisdiction and the specific circumstances, there may be certain tax advantages associated with accepting pre-IPO stock as part of the sales price. Consulting with tax professionals can help sellers assess potential tax implications and optimize their financial outcomes. It's important to note that the future value of the stock portion is subject to market conditions, the performance of the acquiring company, and various other factors. Assessing the potential premium requires careful evaluation and consideration of the acquiring company's prospects, industry trends, and the seller's risk appetite. Consulting with financial advisors or investment professionals experienced in mergers and acquisitions can provide valuable insights and guidance in such situations.